Now, since a corporation is an artificial legal unit established by the state, a firm issues a certificate of incorporation, which states its sole purpose, uh, the number of shares authorized, and the location of the home office. In addition to the certificate of incorporation, uh, the firm uh, also receives a charter. Now, a charter establishes the relationship between the state and the organization. Now in the first meeting, the first meeting here, the investors, the owners uh, set bylaws and you know established for the organization and voting rights, particularly voting rights for the board of directors. Now there's three important features to consider. The first one is called uh, referred to as preemptive right, which allows a stockholder to maintain current proportion of shares owned. So for instance, let's look at a, uh, just give a quick example. Let's say that the organization has been authorized for a hundred thousand shares and let's say Mrs. A owns 10,000 or in this case 10 percent of the number of total authorized shares. If the firm decides to issue 50,000 more shares since she owns 10%, she is authorized to purchase up to 5,000, which will maintain her current, uh, the amount proportion of owned shares. That's referred to as preemptive right. Uh, another feature is the calculating uh, the number of votes. There are two ways. There is statutory voting and cumulative voting. Now, statutory voting basically states that uh, you get one vote for each item on the ballot, for each item on the ballot. Uh, for instance, let's use the example of uh, electing board of directors. And let's say there's three seats, seat one, seat two, seat three. In this case, you could throw 100 votes this way, 100 votes here, and 100 votes here. However, if it's cumulative, uh, which actually this is better for a larger voter, for the smaller voters, uh, cumulative is better, smaller, smaller voters, larger voters, small voters. Uh, let's look at it for the smaller voters. Let's say we have those three seats, seat one, seat two, and seat three again. We could allocate in any way we want. So in one instance, we, we could throw, you know, since there's three seats and we have 100 votes per seat, which 100 votes times three gives us 300 votes, we could vote all for one here and zero and zero here, or we can allocate it any manner of fashion we want. We could put 150 here, maybe 50 here, and then 100 here for this seat. Uh, so uh, like I said, we, we have a cumulative voting uh, since there are three seats, 100 shares. Uh, we just multiply together, we have a total of 300 votes, and we can allocate it any way we want. So I hope this helps uh, understanding three important uh, principles, the preemptive right, uh, statutory voting, and cumulative voting.